Howdy folks, Bodine 52, how are ya? It is the winter in Michigan and I'm out on my motorcycle. And I've been in the house for two months thinking about what I was going to talk about the first time I came out. And I got it. I'm going to talk about stupid things that us guys do. And I'll tell you what, I got feedback from some ladies. Stay tuned. Alrighty, hope this video finds you well, friends. I gotta tell you, I just could not take not coming out today. Assault is off the road. It sure seems. I did a little pre-ride check. So there's some water because the temperature is uh, now 47 degrees. So I'm being a little careful of that, but let's get to the topic. So when I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about, my first ride out... I was thinking about, you know, stupid things I do, or guys do. Now, I gotta say, to start this off, first of all, I've gotten feedback from multiple uh, uh, ladies that watch my channel. Of course, my bride, Mrs. Bodine, and even um, a couple folks from my Facebook page do have a Bodine52 Facebook page, and there are some guy feedback in this so take it for you well what you will it's mostly women now I thought this would be a quick video and easy because I'm like we don't do anything wrong so what could I really talk about so it started off by I don't know I got feedback on five things guys do they're dumb and then it went to ten things and then all of a sudden it's 15 things well I gotta tell you what it's 19 I gotta put my phone up just to write them. So, we don't like too long of videos, so I'm going to roll through these, and I would love to hear your feedback on, you think any of these are true? Because I'm not so sure. Alright, number one. Sometimes, so I hear, we forget things like events. Whether it's a birthday, or an anniversary, or important stuff like that. I hear that we forget those. Now, I don't know if that's true. I mean, personally, I put them in my calendar and my phone so I don't forget, but I don't think that's true. So that was the first one. Let's see what's next. Oh, gifts. Gifts, gifts, gifts. We are in the world of a gift for Christmas or your birthday is some sort of gift card. Now, I've never been a fan of that, but i got to tell you what, I've gone there. I've gone there. Now, Mrs. Bodine will say, hey, those are nice. That's what I asked for. Sometimes you surprise me with another gift. But all they want is something that's thoughtful, apparently. And, and quote, romantic. Ay, 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 ay. All right, number three, hunting widows. Now, if you are a hunter, you realize towards the 1st of October, you change. You change as a... How you handle yourself, you change time off from work, you change how often you're home, you're in the zone. Well, apparently some hunting wives call that hunting widows. I, I, don't, I don't think it's stupid. I think it's smart. I love this little canal here. We were by here the other day, and there's a bunch of geese out here. And there was uh, swans in the water. And, you know, so I hear those swans are pretty nasty, but they were chasing the geese out. But, okay, focus, Bodie, focus. Okay motorcycle rides. Now, this is if you're going solo. The old, hey, I'm going to go out and take a quick 30, 40 mile ride. I'll be back in an hour. Never works out that way, apparently. And so they say. I, so I, I guess that's stupid, especially when you're supposed to like be somewhere and it's a time issue. But again, I really, really don't see it. By the way, this guy in front of me is actually my new neighbor that just moved in. And he drives an F-150, and I drive a Ram, but I've always had an F-150, so I got some respect for him right away. Don't know him yet, but we'll see how slow he rides when I get up the road here. That'll help me make a decision. Where the heck are all these people coming from? All right, let me get out here, and then we'll talk about... I gotta hurry up, man. I gotta get going, because there's a ton of these things. A ton of these lies. Number five, sports. Now, 
I am a guy that gets up in the morning, checks his phone, which I shouldn't, and turns on ESPN. And I'm also a guy, during football season, ah, who am I kidding? I have sports on all the time. I love sports. Apparently, ladies don't always like that on their TV all the time. I, I don't know what the issue is. Okay, here's the next one. Now, this one's a little... I don't know. I didn't want to talk about this, but I'm going, I guess I'm going to. So, some ladies say that our the men's bathroom hygiene is not what they think it should be. And they think we're not real smart. Now, they also think we're not real smart because we always leave the toilet seat up. Well, first of all, that's totally ridiculous. Now, it's kind of like that, you know, happy wife, happy life. A freaking woman made up that that rule. It's the same thing with a toilet seat. Why don't they lay it down? Don't they look before they sit down? I don't know. Another ridiculous one. Okay. Selective hearing. I don't know what they're talking about there. Um, directions. Directions, directions, directions. Well, this is unfortunate. I think my bike is going to get dirty. Um, directions. Directions for putting something together. Directions on the road. Who needs directions? I'm a guy. I know where I'm going. Ridiculous. All right. The other one. Uh, poor communication at times. Ay, ay, ay. We talk enough at work. I mean, when, you know, I don't get that at all. What else? Oh, childish. So, Mrs. Bodine says, I say dude a lot. Now, I don't call her a dude. I will tell you, at work, sometimes I call people dude. Like, dude, you can't do that. Or, dude, what are you doing? I should probably stop that. I'm like, in my middle 50s, that's probably not good. I actually caught myself saying true dat the other day. I'm like, what am I, 10? But it's not stupid. It's cool, right? All right, what else? Oh, garage time with the bike. Especially in the winter in Michigan. You ever go out with your bike and you just kind of clean it up? Maybe you're sitting on it, talking to it when nobody's listening. No, wait a minute. I'm, I'm just... I heard a friend does that. I don't do that. So don't think that of me, please. But apparently we go out and look at our bikes or we're doing something on them. And apparently it turns into more of than just a five-minute deal. So, <laughs> again, don't see that as stupid at all. I think that's brilliant. Okay, road rage. Now, I, I don't think it's stupid. You know, we need to give feedback to people that are driving that are idiots. I mean, it's just simple. There's a, as a matter of fact, there's a guy that I follow. His name is, I think it's Viper or Viper 6, that uh, lives up, I think it's in Calgary, and he does these videos on stupid idiot drivers uh, that I always love watching. You know, when I first started watching, I'm like, nobody's going to watch this. Man, it gets tons of views, and when it comes out, I'm on it, man. I'm telling you. I'm going to link his channel in the description just so you can check that out, too. He's a good guy, and it's right there. All right. So what else? Um, oh, drives too fast. That's ridiculous. I don't even know why we're talking about that. That's not the case at all. What's too fast? What's the definition of fast? Don't give me that speed limit crap. That's not right. All right, loses stuff all the time. Stupid things a guy do. We don't lose stuff. What are you talking about? We put stuff down and somebody moves it. It's just that simple. Right? All right. Oh, okay. And I guess there's times where we don't notice things like a new dress or a new haircut or new makeup or a new, I, I, you know, I just see beauty in the business all the time. So I don't notice that stuff. I don't think it's stupid. Okay. This one, sensitivity. Now, I missed sensitivity training when I was a kid and a young man, so it's not my fault. So, thus, it can't be stupid. All right, that's it. All right, we're almost there, folks. We are almost there. Two or three more. Oh. <laughs> now, this may have been not as my smartest thing, but one time, if you follow my channel, you know I've relocated for work a few times in my life. I'm planted now, thank goodness. But... I have... Oh, another motorcycle. How cool is that? I've been dying to give somebody the wave. Hey, brother. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you lived in Michigan and you've been snowed in, you would you would think that's cool, too. I'm just telling you. I, I One time when we moved to Chicago... Oh, no. It's actually the first time we moved back to Michigan. I actually bought a house. Maybe without getting Mrs. Bodine's take on it first. 
I don't think it was stupid. It was actually smart because it was a good deal. I needed to look, I needed to get on it right away. She ended up loving the house. It worked out good. Well, that's a whole different video, folks. But it wasn't stupid. She should thank me, actually. And then the last one. Mrs. Bodine says that I have a few bromances. Bromances. She says I specifically have two or three bromances. That's not... But it's not stupid. We all need good friends. People we hang with. Don't give me this, you... Maybe you guys are together more than you and I are... That's ridiculous. Come on, I'm just giving you your space. Again, you should thank me. So, folks, that really is it. I mean, I do not see these. There's 19 here. 19 things that have been brought up to me by the Mrs. or females. Ladies. And I, I just don't see it. So maybe it's me. Eh, I better never get divorced. Nobody will take me. I'm thinking. Well, anyway, folks, that is it for Bodine 52. Uh, listening to my 19 ridiculous things that people say that us guys do that are stupid. Take care, everybody. Be safe on and off the motorcycle, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.